Revelation 20 verse 3 and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he must be loosed a little season all right so again just like I, I explained in the verse 2 this is a unique time period that we're living in that is unlike the time period before baby Jesus came before he died before he laid down his life died resurrected and ascended to heaven this time period from that point to the time of his return is unique all right and then the reason why uh, the seal is put upon Satan and the devil and dragon and the serpent which is all the same and it's all a spirit that is absent of God all right the reason why he's not able to deceive the nations no more is because the kingdom of God is available to whosoever believes in the Lord Jesus Christ all right so before Jesus came along there was one country one people of God and outside of those that people were all the nations deceived by Satan now Satan can no longer deceive all those nations because the kingdom of God is available to whosoever believes in the Lord Jesus Christ now it's interesting here and after that he must be loosed a little season so when he's loosed that means he's able to deceive the nations and why is he able to to deceive the nations it is because all of us that are resurrected all of us that are born of God are lifted up in the air to be with the Lord right so now because the only people left on earth are those that are not saved Satan is able to go out there and deceive them like he had done when before um, before Jesus came along and when he was able to deceive the nations outside of the nation of God all right 